This document gives you a brief introduction to encoders. An encoder has a number of outputs which can encode the binary number of the highest input. The output number indicates which input is active. If no input is active, the outputs encode a value of 0. Note that the lowest input is numbered 1, not 0. So here is an example of a 3-bit encoder. The inputs go from I1 to I7, and the outputs are 01, 2, and 3. I've started the outputs at 1 instead of 0, so that you don't get an 0, which might be confusing. So here we have with no active inputs, inputs 1 to 7 are all low, so the outputs are all low, encoding the binary number 0. Now input 1 is high, indicated by the green, and so the outputs encode the number 0, 0, 1, which is a binary 1. Input 2 is now active, so again the outputs encode binary 2. And binary 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For a priority encoder, the output encodes the highest numbered input, regardless of the state of the lowered number inputs. So here's an example from before with input 2 active, and so the output encodes the binary number 2. Now notice that in this case, even if the input 1 is active, then the output still encodes a binary 2, because 2 is higher than 1. Now with input 3 active, the output encodes a binary 3, and so now, regardless of inputs 1 and 2, the output remains a 3, because 3 is the highest number of, output of input active. Most encoders are priority encoders. For a non-priority encoder, then the behavior when more than one input is active would need to be specified.